Here's the answer key for assignment number one. With problems one and two, these are done on the graphing calculator. Nothing like this is going to be on the quiz, um, but problem number one, if you use a graphing calculator, should come out to a quarter, and problem number two should come out to a fifth. More importantly, let's get with the limits. So we have to remember that if we get zero over zero, that's not a solution. Don't stop there. So problem number three, the limit as x approaches two of x to the fourth, that's equal to two to the fourth. We're just going to replace x with two. Two to the fourth is 16. With problem number four, the limit as x approaches three of two x minus three over x plus five. So we have two times three or six minus three over three plus five for a final answer of three eighths. With problem number five, the limit as x approaches three. So in the numerator, we have the square root of four. In the denominator, we have negative one. And that would simplify to negative two. Problem number six, the limit as x approaches zero. So zero minus one, so that means we have negative one cubed for a final answer of negative one. Let's move the screen a bit. With number seven, we have our first situation where the numerator heads to zero when we replace x with five, and so does the denominator. All right, so we need to simplify. The denominator is the difference of two squares. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches five of x minus five over x minus five times x plus five. We can now eliminate the x minus fives. All right, x minus five divided by itself leaves us with ones. So we have one over x plus five. When we replace x with five, we have one over five plus five, or one tenth. Eight is more factoring. When we replace x with four, we have 16 minus 20 plus four. So again, the numerator is going to zero. In the denominator, we have 16 minus eight minus eight more. That also goes to zero. So we need to simplify. The limit as x approaches four. In the numerator, we need two numbers that multiply to four and add to negative five. So that's going to be x minus four and x minus one. In the denominator, we need two numbers that multiply to negative eight and have a sum of negative two. It's going to be x minus four and x plus two. So now when we look at this, we can eliminate the x minus fours. And when we replace x with four now, we have three in the numerator, four minus one. And we have six, right, four plus two in the denominator, which is a fine answer, and it could also be simplified to one half. And last on this page, with number nine, more of the same, plugging in negative three gives us zero in the numerator and also zero in the denominator. So when we go to simplify this, we have the limit as x approaches negative three. We can factor a four out of the numerator. And the denominator, two numbers that multiply to 18 and add up to 9, are going to be 6 and 3. And those x minus 3s do eliminate each other. Now when we replace x with negative 3, the numerator, there's only a 4 in there. The denominator, negative 3 plus 6, is going to be 3. So we have 4 thirds. And then finally with number 10, we plug 0 into the numerator, produces 0. 0 in the denominator produces 0, so let's factor out some x's. So we have the limit as x approaches 0. We can pull an x out of the numerator, leaving us with 3x plus 2. We can also factor out an x in the denominator, leaving us with x squared plus 4x plus 6. Those x's eliminate each other, and now when we replace x with 0, we have 2 in the numerator, we have 6 in the denominator, for a final answer of 1 third.